now let us let us try to try to draw the equipotential surface due to a, a dipole and two equal positive charges now one thing that we understood about the uh, about the equipotential surface was that it is always perpendicular to the electric field at all points so it will be a good idea to first of all draw the electric field right and and how the electric field looked how did the electric field look so it was like like this here it started becoming more intense okay and we had seen that kind of becomes this right so let us draw the symmetrical field lines something like this okay so okay and okay it was something like this and this got repelled so so it was sort of this no and as far as the correct so it was something like that fine so now see what happens what if i try to draw a i start here and i try to draw a perpendicular 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 fine i start from here i go like this 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 here I have to curl right faster is it not same here right at all points I am trying to keep it perpendicular no while here right 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 you see any difference this seems to be closer in between the charges here it seems to be wider in between the charges and that is happening solely due to the configuration of the electric field lines 
and they will be fundamentally different. Correct? Do we understand? So for any charge configuration, if you are able to draw the field, you will be able to draw the electro uh, the, the equipotential surfaces. Correct? And this is how it is done. And we understand why it is always perpendicular to the electric field lines. It has to be. Fine?